shopping, buy some Pandora tops, <laughs> beautiful stuff to compliment us. Being a woman, I just, I love it. I think we are, I don't know, I think we are special in some way. No matter what room you walk into, a woman's presence invokes attention. People will turn around and look at you, whether it's to judge you, whether it's to admire you. That is one of the best things, awesome feelings. The best thing of being a woman, I can um, have a child and bring a child in the world. I can't say that I really know an answer to that. Women are really sensitive and they're, I think they're really strong and they're persistent, but not in a visible way, physical way, but in a invisible and subtle way. Well, the best thing about being a girl in my thing is like, we can get a lot of weight and we still look attractive. Our bodies, our bodies are amazing. They're so malleable, strong, and beautiful, and they they can adapt to anything. They're just beautiful. Female body is beautiful. Agree, agree. The best thing about being a woman right now is being a grandma <laughs> to this little boy and another little boy. I love the fact that we can be uh, compassionate and forgiving and also not forgiving at the same time <laughs> and I also like the fact that uh, I feel that women can see a lot more shades, more you know perspectives, more grey stuff it's not always black and white I feel like women can do that a little bit more than men in this day and age is that we have um, so much freedom and then a lot of support from other women to just truly go after what we want to do, what we want to be, what we want to look like. The best thing about being a woman is our intuition. I think that women have like another level of intuition. We can feel like when things are going wrong and when things are going right. Like we just know. My name is Basma. Uh, I am mother. I raise three kids. Uh, I lose one of them, the older one. Uh, being a mother or a woman, it is nice. The kids make you happy also. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when they grown up, they respect you. You feel happy when you see the, their success in the life. Yes. This is my kids. Um, but the, now the older one, the one with the red, she passed away. I see. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Yeah. You're, you're, I, I bet you are an amazing mom. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Expectations from women that we we necessarily may not want to take part in or want to meet, but um, we definitely feel the pressure. Being in a position of management, um, people will say, "Is if you're female, people will judge you." Oh, you probably slept around. You got that position being X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Doesn't matter what your education, what your credentials are. Versus if you're a male, nobody will say he slept around. Yeah. No, it's just like, oh yeah, it's perfectly fine. And the worst. It's probably the periods. You literally bleed out of your vagina. <laughs> um, I know specifically back in Korea, um, if you're a woman and you're applying for a job, you have to also um, you have to also submit a picture of your face. It's unfortunate, but in Korea, if you are prettier, you will be more likely to get a job. It's not having all the opportunities when I was younger that I wish that I had had. Can you give one example? I just. Um, Choosing to go into a female-oriented profession, rather possibly something else. I was a social worker. Oh, maybe, so maybe I would have chosen something else if I was raised differently. That we have to wear a bra. I really hate that. Yeah, because it's it's like a physical. It's like a. It's you know. It's a chain. It's, it's just <laughs> so annoying. I've never had any problems. Uh, in my business. Being a woman. Being a woman, no. no in live not. and in business. Never, never. Yeah. Um, uh, people have asked me about what it was like in the 70s when it was so tough on women, and I've had to say, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I was in a city room where they didn't discriminate, where you were judged by your work, so there was there was no problem. Society looked down on you, call you a woman, and you're not only a woman, but a black woman. You must say in the, work, in the workplace, the same job you're doing, the men always get more than and ladies and the woman, she have single mom like me, yeah. we're single and the paycheck is like 
one paycheck away from poverty. I see, I see. Thank you. I hope it's getting better. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Yeah. If you want to compete with men in the same field, you have to put up with a lot of physical difficulties. And for me, it's the practical thing is, is my period. Like sick days for seven days a week, when you're having your period, you just feel really sick and you can't concentrate on your work. to constantly prove yourself to your male counterparts. My grandmother doesn't force them to like cook and clean. I have to cook, clean, study, and work. Whereas, you know, they get to relax oh. and maybe go to work. So what's the hardest thing being a woman? I think it would be the size of pockets on pants. What does it annoy you? <laughs> well, men's pants, you can fit anything that you're carrying around in your pockets if you're a man, but women's pockets are absolutely useless. Dealing with people that think we are not like equal, that's really, that's bad, that's annoying. It makes me mad because I just, I just don't get it. Monthly thing and also uh, women rights in some countries that are not um, as equal as men rights. Uh, I'm from Dubai and yeah, there's like no women rights. For example, like if you are raped in Dubai, uh, you get locked up as a woman. Yeah. The minute you decide to, to have kids, you must be responsible because it is not uh, uh, simple work. It is like, um, to be honesty and continue with them until they grown up and take this responsibility by themselves. How about the men? Do they have that same responsibility? I think the man also he, he working. If he's a good father or a good husband, uh, sometimes some of them good. But uh, if he cheat or uh, not take responsibility and run away, this is bad. The best and the hardest things of being a, of being a woman for me are, um, for better or worse, the same thing. And that is that as a woman, as a very, as a little girl and then a teenage girl and then a girl and then a woman and then an older woman, um, you are in a position of trying to live within a patriarchy in most of the societies in the world in some ways. So that means that there are a limited set of values, a limited set of identities that are outlined as a societal norms um, in different societies for what it means to be a woman. So it's hard to form one's identity um, because a woman feels like, and even as a girl, you just don't know why, you feel like you're becoming in opposition. So that's the hardest thing. However, um, that's also the best part because when you need to act in opposition, you have to find divergent and different ways of being. You can try to find very individual and unique ways to be in this world. And that, in most cases, produces creativity in everyday life. It creates and produces more life and more meaning. So, for me, that means that's the hardest and the best uh, things about being a woman. Thank <laughs> you.